In this video we'll take a look at the many iterations of the iPhone. A phone that was revolutionary, and which made Apple into one of the most valuable companies in the world. The first iPhone was described as revolutionary, and a game-changer for the mobile phone industry. Its interface was a huge improvement over BlackBerry, Palm, and Windows Mobile. It offered a 3.5-inch screen, a 2-megapixel camera, and impressive multi-touch features. Implementing what they had learned from the first version, Apple created a much more connected device. With built-in GPS receiver, location services, and 3G connectivity. It also featured double the storage and a cleaner design, at half the price. The 3GS saw a huge speed boost over the previous model. It included a 620 MHz CPU, and double the RAM. This model introduced voice control, video recording and a compass to help with directions. A fingerprint-resistant coating was also introduced. The iPhone 4 was Apple's most refined version yet. With a brand new app store, laser-cut design and many new technologies. This model introduced the Super Sharp Retina Display, HD Video Recording, Selfie Camera, HDR Photography, and FaceTime. To improve phone conversations it included a microphone on top for noise cancellation. A gyroscope was also included to improve interaction with the phone. The 4S didn't see much change on the outside, but saw lots of upgrades of its internals. It was the first iPhone to sport a dual-core CPU. 8 megapixel camera, 1080p video recording, and 14.4 megabits per second 3G download speeds. With this model Apple surpassed Microsoft in terms of quarterly revenue. The iPhone 5 was the first model to have a larger screen. 4 inches, versus 3.5 inches in previous generations. It was also 20% thinner than the iPhone 4S, and shipped with double the RAM and double the storage. The iPhone 5S was all about increasing quality and efficiency. It introduced Touch ID, which was a more convenient way of getting into the phone. The main camera was improved with a 15% larger sensor, a wider aperture, and a new True Tone flash. The phone was launched with 13 LTE bands. More than any other smartphone. This allowed users to access high-speed internet in more countries. The iPhone 5C, released alongside the 5S was just a reskinned plastic version of the iPhone 5. The only difference was the extra heft because of its larger battery. The iPhone 6 featured the largest screen, and the thinnest body of any previous models. The camera was greatly improved with optical image stabilization, and 60 frames per second video recording. Voice calls were also improved with Voice over LTE, which provided high-quality audio. Other tech that were included were NFC for Apple Pay, and the barometer for altitude sensing. In combination with the new version of the OS, the 6S introduced 3D Touch, Live Photos, and Hey Siri. The rest of the phone was upgraded, except for its exterior. Touch ID was upgraded to allow for faster login, and the body was made more rigid, to prevent bending like in the previous model. The cameras were upgraded to 5 and 12 megapixels, allowing for 4K recording on the main camera, and full HD on the selfie camera. In terms of performance, the RAM was doubled, and a new tri-core CPU was introduced, which was 70% faster and more power efficient. Apple brought back the smaller 4-inch display in the iPhone SE. This was in response to the slower adoption rate of the iPhone 6 and 6S. It featured the tech from the 6S in a smaller and more affordable package. The only features it lacked were the HD selfie camera and 3D touch.
the iPhone 7 was the first model to get rid of the headphone jack, which caused lots of criticism. It was replaced with a dongle and new wireless technology to quickly pair earpods and other devices. A solid state home button and water resistance was also introduced in this model. Additionally, the iPhone 7 Plus included dual cameras with optical zoom and bokeh effect. iPhone 8 introduced wireless charging, a 6-core CPU, and an Apple-designed GPU. It looked similar to the iPhone 7 but with a glass body to allow for inductive wireless charging. A few features were upgraded, such as louder speakers, 60 frames per second 4K video recording, and full HD slow motion recording. The iPhone X was launched to commemorate 10 years of iPhones. It was Apple's most expensive phone, and was a complete departure from the standard iPhone design. It replaced the home button with Face ID, and used that space for a larger display. The display measured 5.8 inches, with 458 pixels per inch. It featured Dolby Vision, and HDR10 for stunning high contrast video. Back then, it was reported to be the best smartphone display on the market. But it was greatly critiqued for its peculiar notch, which included all the necessary sensors and selfie camera. The 10s looks just like the previous model, but with many refinements. Refinements, such as IP68 water resistance, faster face ID, addition of a dual SIM option, and implementation of the most durable glass ever. The other improvements all dealt with performance and efficiency. Like the 4-core GPU, which is twice as fast as the previous model, and the 4-efficiency core CPU, which is 50% more efficient. The 10R is a more affordable version of the 10S. It comes with a larger, but cheaper display, less RAM memory, and only one main camera. It also lacks 3D touch, feels cheaper in the hand, and has a thicker body. It is still a great value if you want the latest tech. It provides better battery life, and comes in many colors. The iPhone 11 will be upon us soon, and as you can see, the cameras will be the main focus of this model. It will have a third camera sporting a 120-degree field of view, as well as a brighter flash, upgraded image signal processor, and an updated smart HDR system. It will come with a frosted glass finish, more advanced Siri, and a larger battery. Unfortunately, 3D touch will be stripped out to make space for the larger battery. It will also feature an updated Face ID, with wider angles, and upgraded stereo speakers for louder audio.